let's do this. First of all, can I just tell you like the little things in life, okay? <laughs> we got internet. We got internet. I had to live with like a hotspot for the last two weeks and like just uploading a YouTube video was, <laughs> took ridiculous amounts of time. gonna change for a while <laughs> because we were hoping that the renovation works can actually start at the end of May however it's all postponed now until the end of June so yeah we're gonna be stuck with an empty <laughs> canvas for a while uh, however we got something to do today we got the first unboxing in the new house <laughs> I can't believe that I have this bag now in my collection this is not what you're going to expect I think that's all I can say <laughs> However, I'm still trying to figure out where the light is best and everything and how I'm gonna set up my little filming, my little temporary filming uh, location until everything is done in the house. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna go with the flow. Okay guys, so let's do this. First of all, can I just tell you like the little things in life, okay? <laughs> We got internet. We got internet. I had to live with like a hotspot for the last two weeks and like just uploading a YouTube video was, <laughs> took ridiculous amounts of time. So I think this is how we're gonna do it. You guys know that I love Ferragamo. And I mean, by the way, guys, the Bulgari event that I hosted, it's just been a couple days since then. And it was honestly one of the best days ever. Um, meeting so many of you guys was amazing. So thank you to everyone who came. And so you guys know I'm a Bulgari girl at heart, but we're also Ferragamo girls here. <laughs> Just want to say that. I know so many of you actually, you know, really got into Bulgari and Ferragamo and you actually see the difference in quality um, well, to other fashion houses, right? So um, if you've been following me for a while, you know I have, well, the classic Gancini Ferragamo top handle bag. And that's such an incredible bag. Um, it's very sophisticated and it's very like old glamour, <laughs> old Hollywood glamour in my opinion. So um, I have that one in white and in black. So very classic colors, of course, and they go with everything, but I feel like we might add more crazy colors in the future. If you remember back, guys, we actually went to, it was like a party where they've shown the new collection from Maximilian Davis because he took over Ferragamo recently. And since then, guys, it's not called Salvatore Ferragamo anymore. It's only called Ferragamo. <laughs> so yeah, he took over. I absolutely love his designs. He's doing really great stuff. He's um, bringing vintage pieces back. So I would say, let's talk about this. Um, I wanted this bag. I thought I wanted it in the, the black and the gold, but I mean, I got enough black and gold bags, right? It's kind of getting a little bit boring. So I um, wanted this bag. Any guesses? Any guesses what kind of model is in here? Now is the time to guess. <laughs> Pause the video and write it in the description box. Okay, guys. So we have this somewhere in the background. Um, yeah, I thought I wanted this bag in black because it's actually a reissue. Um, however, I was actually thinking, let's go with crazy colors, you know? Summer is coming up. I wanna wear bright pop colors. <laughs> So I don't know if this is a decision I'm gonna regret or if I'm gonna love this bag. So this bag is called The Wonder. <laughs> it's actually named after Salvatore Ferragamo's wife. She was called Wonder. Like I said, I actually thought, hey, let me go for the black and gold. I don't know what it is. I know I looked for a lot of Wonder videos. You don't find a lot on YouTube. Only Cassie has this bag. Um, and yeah, other than that, you don't really find anyone. Uh, I can't really watch a lot of um, reviews, but I don't know what it is. I fall head over heels in love with an orange and red bag. <laughs> I mean, I, I never liked orange and I never liked red. So what's wrong with me? Please explain it to me. I don't know. I feel like maybe it's just, you know, I wanted something different for, for summer, for the upcoming summer. But especially with like my awesome denim jumpsuit that I like so much. I'll show you modeling shots in a, in, a, in a moment. It looks really good, you know? It looks really, really good. So here it is. 
This is the Wonder Bag and it's like a box calf leather, a very glossy, very glossy, shiny box calf leather. Um, and it's almost padded. Um, it feels quite smooth and soft. Can you see that? There, you can see it's almost like padded. And um, yeah, so it's actually um, silver brushed, brushed silver ruthenium kind of hardware. And guys, all of these bags are hand sprayed. So every bag is slightly different. You won't find two that are entirely the same, um, which is quite cool. So maybe sometimes the red um, line is a little bit thicker, maybe a bit thinner, you know, so they're all hand sprayed. You know the reflection. I don't even have my ring light guys so we're just filming with natural lighting <laughs> for now. So uh, yeah this is the little bag. I would say let's look at the inside. So it actually can hold quite a bit. Can you see how far this bag can expand? So that is pretty cool. Uh, it comes with an orange strap and the strap is entirely orange. It's not like an ombre effect like the bag or so. You have these hooks there and can you see there and there, that's where you attach it. So I can tell you again, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of shoulder straps in general. Um, this is for me a handheld bag, like I'm not gonna, you know, wear this with a shoulder strap, but I can show you how it looks like. It's adjustable, it's always good. Okay, what you can do is you close the bag back up it's a really cool mechanism. This is um, the Ferragamo logo, of course. I got my sunglasses, they're downstairs now. <laughs> my um, Salvatore Ferragamo sunglasses, they basically look like this logo, right? Yeah, so this is the bag with the strap. However, I'm gonna wear it without. But of course, it's always a really nice option to have a strap, right? So let's have a look um, at the inside as well. It's a black hole. <laughs> And you got two card slots, yes, two card slots, and there it says Ferragamo, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, so that's it, that's the two hooks where you attach the strap. This is your clothing mechanism, it's very smooth, it's really well constructed. And so guys, the history, like I said, the bag was named after Salvatore Ferragamo's wife, Wanda, and um, it actually came out, it debuted in... Well, this bag leaves fingerprints like crazy. Can you see that? <laughs> um, so it came out in 1988. And I was a little bit blown away by this fact because it does look like such a modern shape, doesn't it? Everything in fashion is just like a cycle. Everything comes back. Uh, and this was probably a pretty futuristic modern bag in 1988. And even nowadays, now in 2023, it looks incredibly... I think it's a futuristic look. Like, to be honest, I think it's very special and to think that this came out so, so, so long ago. I mean, that's 34, 35 years, 35 years ago, this bag was first released. Um, and yeah, a bit crazy, isn't it? And now it's back reissued. Okay, let's try it on. Hi, okay, at least this room I know will be great to show you outfits in the future. You know, I can, I can do a little modeling walk here. <laughs> I have to see how I'm gonna do that. Um, but yeah, this is going to be my filming and bag room. I can't wait to, you know, once it's all done and beautiful, all my beautiful bags are in here. Now we have one. <laughs> so I think, I don't know, it's pretty cool. I love it. Um, I'm just going to wear it like this. You can wear it as a clutch, um, if you ask me. Like I said, you probably have to consider that, you know, you're going to see your fingerprints and just clean it from time to time with a really, like, soft cloth. Uh, but yeah. Hi. Is this cool or what? <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's a pop of color. Okay, super happy. <laughs> yeah, okay guys, so that's it. Um, I can only recommend Bulgari Ferragamo because they put still so much effort, you know, into, into the craftsmanship. Um, and the quality of the materials they choose um, for, for their products. And we know it gets harder and harder to find, especially like for a decent price. So just to show you, look at the stitching, how small it still is, you know. Chanel went down from like 11 stitches per diamond quilt to like seven. <laughs> That's just what I mean. Um, yeah, so this bag doesn't have feet. But I think it's fine. I mean, you would never really put this on the floor or anything. Just be a bit careful with it. But to be honest, 
it's like a patenty. It's not really patent leather. It's like a really shiny box, but I'm pretty sure it's quite hard wearing. I think with this one you wouldn't have to worry too much. Uh, except for having lots of fingerprints on it. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know. I know so many of you bought Ferragamo bags as well and you're constantly adding to your collection. So definitely let me know what kind of Ferragamo bags you have in your collection. And yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handpick obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease. <laughs> yes, we do. And I'll see you again very, very soon, guys. Bye.